Hello guys, in this video we will discuss about NetApp Jumbo Frames. So basically we will try to understand what is a frame in network world, what factors decides a frame to be Jumbo Frames and we will see how we can enable the Jumbo Frames in NetApp and finally we will see which are the ways to see whether actually your port is receiving the Jumbo Frames or not. So before proceeding further don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notification about uh, more such videos from my channels so let's first try to understand what is frame in network world so a network frame is basically the building blocks or packets we can say which carry the data from a source device to a destination device so this frame can be divided into many components but the major or the main components can be divided into three parts source address destination address and the payload data out of these three components the payload data is the part that decides how many bytes of data one frame can carry and uh, in other words, we can say that the value of payload data only determines whether a frame can be called as a jumbo frame. Now, the most common values of a frame size are uh, 1518 bytes and 9018 bytes. So these two values vary from vendor to vendor. Why? Because the bytes here that you are seeing 18 is basically used to store other informations of the frame so that varies from vendor to vendor so you may see some variations in the frame size for uh, different vendors now let's try to understand the frame with the help of this image here we can see the frame size is uh, 1582 bytes now the major components is the data bytes here the maximum bytes or the maximum data that it can uh, carry is 1500 so the remaining 82 bytes is basically used to store the information of the frame for example destination address source address crc and few other components are also there so these remaining bytes which collects the information of uh, a frame varies vendor to vendor that's why the size of the frame also varies from vendor to vendor but uh, the data or the payload data that is uh, 1500 bytes in this case remains constant for most of the when now let's try to understand what is the netapp jumbo frames so netapp jumbo frames are the network frames that are more than the standard size of 1518 bytes so in netapp any frame whose size is 9018 bytes or more than that is called a jumbo frame now the 9000 bytes here the actual data so a jumbo frame carries 9000 bytes of data in a single frame and remaining values is used to store the information of that particular frame now these value that is 9000 bytes is nothing but the MTU value of Ethernet ports which is also called maximum transmission unit so in the previous image we saw 1500 bytes so that is also the MTU value of the frame so now the question comes how to enable jumbo frames in NetApp so to enable jumbo frames in NetApp you will have to increase the MTU value of Ethernet ports. So it's not only applicable for NetApp, it's also applicable for other networking components. If you have a network switch or network router or even the Ethernet ports of uh, hosts, so you just have to increase the MTU value of the Ethernet ports. Now, one thing you should keep in mind that uh, if you are enabling Jumbo frames in NetApp, all the components should be enabled or we can say must be enabled with jumbo frames because if you are not enabling it then one of the component will send the jumbo frames but the other components will not be able to receive it or uh, vice versa then there may be a congestion in your network component so if you are enabling jumbo frames make sure all component within the network path must be enabled with jumbo frames let it be 
the switch let it be the router let it be the host ethernet ports everything you have to enable jumbo frames there now in netapp prior to on tap 8.3 the mtu value was based on the specific ethernet port so we were able to modify the mtu value of a individual ethernet port but uh, after data on tap 8.3 or even in 8.3 as well mtu value can be changed on broadcast domain level so if you want to know more about broadcast domain then just click on the i button and uh, i have a separate video on broadcast domain so you will have enough knowledge on broadcast domain from that video so let's now consider what is the command to change the mtu value in netapp so in cluster mode netapp you will have to execute the command network port broadcast hyphen domain modify broadcast hyphen domain then the broadcast name and hyphen mtu 9000 so whatever ports are inside this broadcast domain all the ports will have the mtu value of 9000 now in seven mode we can still modify the mtu value at individual port level and that we can do as if config then the port name mtu size and then 9000 so these two commands will basically enable or modify the mtu value of the ethernet ports and if you are setting it as 9000 then it's basically enabling the jumbo frames in 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 this particular ethernet ports now you have enabled the jumbo frames but uh, what are the commands to check whether your ethernet ports are actually receiving or sending the jumbo frames so to verify that you'll have to execute if stat command e0a or uh, in seven mode net and in cluster mode netapp also the command is same if stat and the ethernet port name but uh, you'll have to use run hyphen node then the node name and then you'll have to execute the if stat e0a command so these two command will uh, give you the live statistics of the frames so this is basically a sample image and uh, under receive section you will see some uh, options like jumbo and long frames so these two values indicates that uh, a particular port is receiving the jumbo frames and uh, whether it's transmitting or sending the jumbo frames or not that you will be able to see under transmit section and under under transmit section you will have to see the jumbo frame so these counters here yes, are zero but uh, if you see continuous increase in counters for these values then you can say that uh, the particular ethernet port is receiving and sending jumbo frames so that's all for this video i hope you get some a basic knowledge of jumbo frames and how to enable uh, these subscribe for more such videos and uh, hit the bell icon for to get notifications